Lost Island, Ark's newest map. Can I survive 100 days of modded Ark? Let's find out. What did I say for you? Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Ah! So just like any other good start, we make our character, then immediately spawn in to grab some nice resources, don't mind me. And now it's time to find the local wildlife so we can destroy it, pause on that, and don't call PETA because I'm about to mess this thing up. Now that it's killed, I want to grab its hide, and it's me. Also, another pause on that note, but now it's time to cook this thing up, so we gotta make a couple things, aka foundation, maybe a mortar and pestle, and also a campfire, so obviously we can get this thing cooked up. Now that it's all made, I gotta place all this thing down, I'm gonna claim this beach is mine. This is now my beach for the rest of the game. If anyone comes over here, they're gonna have issues. Now that we place these two things down, we gotta throw some wood in here, and then throw the meat of our enemies in there so we can eat that later and in front of their faces. Now, like I said, don't call PETA, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this. Now at this time, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I thought it'd be a good idea to fight this Alpha Dodo with a spear. I mean, to be fair, it did come out good, but, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I killed it. No, it's gonna take my meat! What do you mean by that? No! It took my Alpha meat. You will die! Now it's day three and decided to make a raft and head over to this little area next to Green Ob just because one, I saw a RG flying around but watch your boy drift this raft into place, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I gotta head up this hill and try to make this trap for this RG so we can get it in here. Now the trap's not really too much of a difficult trap, it's just like a foundation, a couple double doors and a ceiling, but we'll come and grind this up real quick, start placing it down and get this RG ready to get it put in the trap. Help me! Let go, please! Go get him! Ow! You bit me! After making this hyena down a porcupine, don't mind me, it's just gonna hold all these spears inside of its head, but it's gonna run away because uh, this game's not broken at all, and uh, yeah, goodbye. Now, luckily, the RG wasn't too far you know, from the trap, so I managed to come over here and grab the aggro of it so we can get it inside the trap. Now, honestly, this thing kind of scared me because at the time, I didn't know what level it was until I got it in the trap, and, I mean, just, your boy, easy peasy, easy peasy start. Oh my god, it's a 145. No! That's a lot of damage. So after the RG killed the Stego, I managed to see some bags that were kind of just chilling on the ground over here, so I decided to head over and look at them. Luckily for me, there were actually some good stuff in here, uh, from blueprints to a couple narcotics and uh, a couple XP potions. Luckily, that would come in pretty clutch later down the line. Also a pickaxe, plus some brand new panaroonies, but now it's time to tame up this RG, because honestly it didn't take too long. But I found this dodo, and I said, hey, why not just punch it up real quick and knock it out? Because we're going to need some dodo eggs anyways. Dodo tamed up, and boom, shakalaka, where you just, uh, yeah. Now that the RG tamed up, might as well destroy this thing, because I don't think we're going to tame another one, but might as well pick up our big old Dodo here, give this thing a nice quality XP potion. Now, at the time, I didn't know how this thing worked, but luckily it, it wasn't too complicated. Just put it in the inventory and then force feed the thing to it. And, yeah, it gave us a pretty good amount of levels, not too shabby. Uh... These XP potions come in clutch throughout the playthrough, so. So it's day four now, and I decided maybe it's about time we find somewhere a little safe to set down our home. And honestly, since this mob pack is pretty crazy, I wanted to try to hide somewhere pretty safe. Now, I found this cave, so I decided why not just build here, start clearing out some of the rocks and all the other good stuff, so we can make room for a couple foundations and whatnot once we get uh, built up. But I headed outside and found these Apex Hyenodons, or Doggos, and I was like, wait a minute, these things have pretty small hitboxes. So I decided to pick one up and see if it could bite me back. It couldn't, so I uh, took advantage of that and got some free Apex Hide. And blood, because that's apparently a thing in this game. Now 
Now we tamed an Anki and a couple more Dodos, but I realized the Anki saddle requires metal, so I had to plop this down real quick so I can get some ingots for it, but it uh, shouldn't take too long. But like I said, these Dodos will help us get the toxic kibble that we need so we can tame the next form of the uh, kibble line. But uh, while we wait for metal to smell, I guess we're just going to sit here and do nothing. Now, with it still being day five, I wanted to get the doorway up. This way, nothing can come in running inside for the base, so we figured, why not get this up? Now, I need to get some metal for this uh, base, so I took the Yankee up to the mountain and uh, let him swing on these uh, rocks, because I forgot the Yankee could do that. But yeah, it, uh, it was getting a good amount of metal, to be fair. Now, flying back in the base on day seven, it was built up a little bit. We had the foundations down and a couple forges running, but nothing really too serious. A bunch of boxes to store all the loot we've been finding outside, and the dodo's still in the back. Day eight, I uh, finished up a little bit on the base and uh, decided to upgrade this crossbow a little bit. Attempt to upgrade. Ooh, well, we need to upgrade again. More viper, more wood. I can do that. Boy's gambling over here. Gambling with his tools. Oh, should we go run it one more time? Run it one more time? What, do you 13 more ingots? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on a minute. Tent upgrade? Oh, we're keeping it there. We're not going too far. That's enough. Journeyman crossy just like that. Okay, okay. Day 11 is coming up real quick. I decided to try to make an alpha kibble because I managed to find a toxic dodo egg on the beach. So, uh, yeah, I waited for this citronel to get made and it took like 30 minutes, but finally we had it made up and it was time to make up this kibble because it's time to go find something to tame. So we managed to find this PT. It's a pretty good level, so we knocked it out and, uh, yeah. Perfect. Yes! I tamed it! It's mine! So after getting the PT some levels, I decided to head to the Wyvern Den, and then, uh, yeah, this happened. Wait, what's that wyvern? The lightning Wyvern level 20. Wait, worth. I can kill that thing with one spin. Hold on. <gasps> Can't kill that in spin. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. GG's. That's game. Nice PT, bro. Nice PT, bro. <laughs> now, it's day 18, and I wanted to try to tame up some manas, because I wanted to get around the map a little quicker, because the map's so big. But uh, I won't bore you guys with a lot of the uh, stuff that we've already done, so, like, taming the PTs and stuff like that. Um, I won't re-show it again once we already did it once. But, yeah, we're taming up these manas, so we can take them back to base and uh, breed them up and uh, get going from there. Now, breeding up the manas, they don't take really too long, but it, it took me a while to get the imprinting stats right, so, yeah. Oh, my. Oh, no way, bro. No way that just happened. Where are you in here? You're in here somewhere. There you are. Yes! Oh no! Hey. Alright. Wait, please tell me I have my kibble on me. Okay, I do. Oh, okay. And I have a tame helper. Let's go. Eat. Eat. Yes! I got one! It's level 74, but I don't care. So after getting beat up by that Capro a couple days ago, um, I decided to try to sort through all the flak blueprints that we have and see what we can make after killing all the Apex Dinos and the Alpha Dinos and stuff like that just from dropping these blueprints. Um, also too, I said this a little bit ago, or a little bit ago in the video, I will not be including stuff that's like duplicate, so once we go tame more manas, or if we tame more PTs, or uh, tame more feather lights and stuff like that. I won't probably include it just because we've already put it in the video and I want to keep the video entertaining through as long as I can. So uh, doing duplicate things won't be a thing and it might make the days go by a little faster. But uh, yeah, the base is coming along. But other than that, like I said, the manas 
Um, nothing too crazy about them, but yeah. So I wanted to tame um, a couple more of these elemental creatures so we could start getting the elemental eggs um, from them so we can make our apex kibble and all these other types of different kibbles. So I managed to find this level 60 uh, ice mega raptor and uh, we're going to knock him out and I placed these gates here but unfortunately I can't pick them back up because yeah they're not S plus I guess because I'm retarded but uh, we managed to knock this thing out and uh, now luckily for us uh, kibble right now like apex or alpha and elemental kibble is super easy for us to craft but um for us to continue further into the game we gotta get these boys up so i managed to find another one of these uh ice mega raptors so we can start trying to breed them but uh yeah then this uh this happened i i don't know why i thought this ledge would save me She might be in the perfect spot, but there's so many explosions going on, so this is pretty risky. But we need this so bad. Screw it. Go sleep. Go sleep. No. Oh. No. I just got him. This thing disappears, and I'm almost convinced that this shit don't work. Oh, it's here. Okay. Alright, so how much... 42k torp. And that thing is big as hell. Nice thing about this is I can just shoot it with my... I'm dead. Don't lightning breath me. Go to sleep, 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 go to sleep. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, why did not lightning breath me? Oh my god, that could have been so bad. Okay, just, just tame. Oh my god, that could have been so bad. It would not even been funny. Okay, so this thing is trash. So with it still being day 34, I managed to find this Giga that was on the map and I wanted to uh, kill it because we actually need one of the Giga hearts to run the uh, main boss. And with it being day 34, I figured the quicker we can get this thing because they do spawn on here, but with all the modded creatures and stuff like that, they kind of take up a lot of the spawns. So finding this level uh, 45 Giga to kill was pretty easily, especially since we had the Lightning Wyvern and uh, we need some levels on this bad boy anyways, so I figured why not get the heart, level up the wyvern, see how good it does, and uh, also, you know, just get stuff ready for the boss once we get later in the video. So, yeah, uh, day 34. Nothing really too crazy, but yeah. Oh, wait, it was some manas after this. I hit my own wyvern. Oh, let's go. Alright, so if we do Tame Helper, Apex Kibble, let's go, boys. Okay, let's go breed these things up. Let's go home. Successful day, boys. Successful day. Day 37 rolls around, and I think it's about time we start getting some Apex Dinos, so we can start, uh, or I guess some Dinos more in general, so we can uh, get ready for the boss fight uh, later down the line. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to breed these things, nor do I know how tough the boss is actually going to be, so, uh, you know, the quicker we can get these things bred up, the quicker we can, um, you know, just keep progressing also, because we do need the eggs. Cause, so we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. We get the eggs that we need to make higher kibble. And we also um, obviously get the Allosaurus so we can take them into the boss fight and uh, use them. I was going to do Rexes, but I feel like everybody does Rexes for boss fights. And since it's super kind of modded, dealio type thing, 
I figured, uh, why not? We'll knock out this aloe and um, we'll call it good for there. And for, uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Just do something different. With day 40 rolling around, I decided to move to this new island just because the base we have it currently was getting really cramped. And uh, I wanted to be able to put my dinos out somewhere so as we continue, you know, playing and stuff like that, I can see everything and the progression just looks a lot better. So I found this island that didn't have any dinos on it and it claimed as mine. So after clearing everything out, I placed some gates, placed just so we can have like a little bit of protection, and then I started building the little base itself. All right, so we're actually gonna just gonna throw out you, then I'll stay on the mana because he's got a little more health than the last one did, so it's a little scary. Bruh! Where are you going, mate? Okay, I guess we're fighting down here. Always oh, going at him. Get his, get him. Oh, he's chunking him. I'm gonna get rid of the tree so I can see. Oh, no! Get rid of the trees real quick, guys. I froze him. Get him, Aloe. We gotta whistle passive, and then we gotta whistle J. Because you're going too close to the other thing. Uh, Allo. Allo. We're a little too close. Allo, we're just, we're a little too close to everything. You know? Just a little, just a little too close. Just a little bit. Can't really. Wait, he's almost dead. Hold on. I can just burn him. Burn him. Okay, he's burned. Get him, Allah. Get him. Get him. Oh my god, something's beating me up! Don't lose, Allosaur! Ow! He stunned me! Oh no, shit's blowing up! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! No necrotic wire, it's gonna. No! Big boy! We lost big boy. No. Now back at base on day 47, I wanted to make up a bunch of ammo for my rifle because I was running out really quickly. And it, little did I know this stuff takes a while to make. You have to make the narcotics and then you have to make that into a different type of narcotic and then that's your different type. And then you have to make the ammo and they had to make that into a different type of ammo. And then you have to, it's a big process, but it took a whole day to make all the ammo up, but uh, we should be good for the rest of the series, how much we made, so. All right, with that being said, it's time to go get our wyvern. It's only 10,000 meters away, and yeah. I want it. It blows things up. I want it. Please go to sleep. Please go to sleep. You thought, boy. You thought. You thought you was going to work on me, boy. You thought it was gonna work on me, boy. Pop and a pop and a pop and a tame, please let me be mine. Okay, day 51 rolling around and decided to go level up this wyvern a little bit and see what damage it could do. Um, this boy is chonky. Let me tell you that. This thing is chonky in the damage category. Um, 
we go around and kill this, a lot of stuff with this boy later in, in the uh, video, but uh, I wanted to say a couple things. I didn't notice this until I started editing. Um, a couple of my days, well, I say a couple, I think like 15 of my days are corrupted or like, I don't know what the video is. It just like, it shows the, I have like the audio, but like, I guess uh, Discord didn't pick up the screen for arc while recording. So I have just like a black image of audio. Um, it wasn't really anything too crazy. I think we tamed up a dire wolf to hit some of the artifact caves. Um, we tamed up a dolphin to go underwater, and we tamed up a. Um, uh, actually, those are the only two things. And then we uh, flew around on the wyvern, just collecting some of the uh, tributes for the upcoming boss later at the end. But um, it's all good. Like I said, nothing really, really too crazy. Um, there's only four artifacts that we collected, so it wasn't really too hard, and I think, like I said, the, the dolphin, so, and the wolf. So nothing really too crazy, but I have, like I said, the audio came through, but the video of it didn't. Don't know what happened, but, uh, yeah, so those days will be skipped. Um, yeah, that's, that's all, uh, unfortunate enough, that's, that's how it's gonna be. Day 52 was just like day 51 for the most part. I went around killing a bunch of stuff, and this was an Apex Methopithecus. Uh, I think that's the right name. I hope so. But uh, yeah, that boy looked chonky, but was getting shredded. Uh, yeah, dude, this Necrotic Wyvern is messed up. It's bro. A56 rolls around and I need a bunch of Apex Hide to make the Apex Saddles for the Aloes. So I make an automated Apex Hide farm using uh, the breeding and a Theris, you know, that big slaps them up. And uh, Apex Hide, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So remember how I said we were going to skip a few days because of the screen being black and whatnot and only being able to hear audio? Yeah, so from day 56 to day 79, uh, everything in between that from taming the dolphin, from taming the uh, dire wolves so we can run inside the caves, and um, what else did we do? Uh, farming up a couple of the tributes. We still had to farm up some tributes, and then we farm up the artifacts, uh, all that stuff. I... Unfortunately, all I have is the audio for it, and it's, I can't really think of a way to make it look good with just audio, and I don't want to bore people, so. Uh, yeah, so we want to team up this dragon. Uh, we got this stuff from killing the Apex um, Methopithecus a couple seconds ago, or a couple minutes ago, um, and obviously just the eggs from the, I believe it was the Apex eggs from the Aloe. So with those two things combined, we made up some kibble to tame with this dragon, and it get, took forever to knock out, but we got it. Oh my god. Finally. Holy shit. Oh, dude, it's so cool looking. A lot smaller than I thought. What the heck? Oh, okay. Here, how much health do you got? What are you? Demonic horsey. 1.3 mil. See how much it takes to kill you. The bite's a little bit, of, bit on the weaker side. You're kind of weak. Like weak sauce. I really thought this thing was gonna be a lot, like, like cooler. I mean, it's fast. It's cool. Like almost half health already though from that thing. This thing gets shredded. So through day 80 and day 81 was pretty much just me farming up the rest of the tributes. I had to get some UD uh, lungs. We had the Giga Heart from earlier in the video. I had to get some Theory Claws. I had to get some... Um, I had to kill two Spinos. And then I had to kill some other stuff. So I just flew around the map for those two days. Harvesting... Uh, or not harvesting, but uh, collecting up the rest of the tributes for the boss. 
So by getting the boss ready, I decided to find this Quetzal here and uh, tame it up so we can use it to take all our aloes over to Green Ob once we're ready to go. Yeah, I understand that it's a lot easier to crowd pot them up and throw them down, but I thought the Quetzal would be fun, and I haven't tamed Quetzal in a while, so I figured why not. But the only problem was, once I knocked it out, and I wanted to go feed it kibble, it wanted two, not one. So, I had to run all the way back to base and wait by the Allosaurus for an egg to drop, and that took forever. But, we managed to get the Quetzal all tamed up, pumped it all full of movement speed, and we flew this thing back home and got it ready so we could build on the back of it because we wanted to do the normal boss fight very soon. Alright, so now that the Quetzal's all tamed up, we built some foundations and some ceilings on the back of it, and it was time to load up all the Allosaurus and get ready for this boss fight, because it's time. Alright, time for the boss fight, the thing we've all been waiting for, and just kidding, it's nothing really too crazy, but here we are, this is my first time doing this boss fight, day 90, uh, maybe 6 to 8 Allosaurus, and we are zooming, let's see how this goes, hope it goes uh, pretty decent, oh! Ow, oh shit. Three hundred element. What? Wait. Oh. We are monkey. We are monkey. Is that all this stuff? Now I know what some of you are probably thinking, Mark. That boss was way too easy to be the finale, and I 100% agree. That boy got slapped up, and I'm not. It, it, boy was nothing, and we also got his suit, which was kind of messed up and a little freaky. But it, anyways, uh, so I decided that we'd head back to base and spawn one of those origin dinos. We'd make one. Of, I guess you could make them inside. You can like spawn them in by crafting like a, a their little thing, anyways, and you could spawn them in. So I figured we head back to base, make one up and uh, spawn it in our base for the finale and I'm not I'm gonna be 100% honest um, I uh, did not notice it was only day 92 I would have waited till 100 if I noticed but uh, yeah a little too late for that so <sighs> oh shit boys ending this series off on a fucking penguin oh whistle attack wait. oh shit Get him, boys! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, it's dying! Everything's dying! Oh my god, no! Penguin OP! <laughs> no! Get him, boys! How close did we get? Get him, bro, mother! You got him, man! No! <laughs> oh, I don't have the health potion. No. We almost had him. <laughs> bro. I don't know if you want to hear. I'm deep throating this shit right now. Yeah, I want the full fuck. Uh, that that's recorded. Okay, that's the intro. <laughs> Grant is deep throating a fucking bomb pop. Can I get that on cam also? So fucking that could be the outro. The